Hey internets, I'm back and I'm vlogging. There should be some cool intro music here. So it's been a while since I made a video on my personal channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla and I vlog about stuff and uh, on occasion. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. If you want, you can also watch me every Wednesday on the 5 Awesome Knitters. I will put links in the doobly-doo. Um, it's a vlog about knitting and being a nerd fighter and stuff. We've been doing it for a while, so check that out. So, um, I, something happened to me today that kind of got my brain thinking about stuff, and I just felt like I needed to share it with the internet. Okay, so I'm an education major, and as part of my coursework, I have to observe a middle school setting for 20 hours. At the middle school that I was observing at today, there was a they had a Black History Month assembly for like an hour, and it was really interesting. Um, the the school that I'm observing has a very high population of African American students, but not just because of that. It was interesting more because of all the talent they had. The band play, they had some like skits, and they had children read poetry, they had kids sing songs, it was like a really like really quality stuff too and um, I'm not saying that I'm surprised that middle schoolers are talented or anything but it just it was very like inspiring the kids really took it seriously and did a good job with it but it kind of got me thinking about something totally unrelated well maybe not totally but semi unrelated to black rights or race rights, if you will, is the issue of civil rights, and I think right now we have a serious problem with gay, lesbian, transgender, bisexual, questioning, all of that stuff, and their civil rights, and to me, like, as I was sitting there, the stuff they were saying about equality for all and how we're all humans and everything, like, it was really awesome, but I wondered, did that apply to the LGBTQ community, and if not, why not? The students talked a lot about Martin Luther King and his I Have a Dream speech, and I think that we, as America and the world, should all have a dream that the LGBT community will have those same equality in marriage, in all of that stuff. And it's sad to me that we don't have that yet. I think that America is just needs to get on that bandwagon for reals. Marriage is not about religion. It's not about men and women, it's about love, and it should be about love, and it's frustrating when, you know, like, your dear friends don't have the privilege, that, the same privileges that you have as, as a heterosexual person, and it bothers me, and so I know that that's kind of a weird spin to take off of an African American, like, history month spin of a middle school like demonstration but I you know it's an issue that's important to me and I feel like we need to be willing to talk about it and it doesn't need to be something like hush hush that's whispered about it needs to be like broadcasted and like confronted head on that we're not going to take this segregation of marriage any longer it's stupid and it needs to change. Alright, so I think I'm going to step off of my soapbox now. Those are my two cents about the issue, so if you have an opinion, even if it's not the same as mine, you you feel free to leave comments, video responses. Um, we shouldn't be afraid to talk about this. And um, hopefully tomorrow I'll make a video, since this is Who, What, Where, When, Why weekends. Maybe I'll continue and this weekend can be like controversial topics weekend or something. I don't know. So if there's a topic that you'd like to hear me talk about, you can leave those in the comments. And um, I hope that everyone had a great week and that your weekend continues to be awesome. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs> the purpose of this video is to talk about something. Duh.